Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number six. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so we are here at the South Side Sweeper. We got Race Against the Clock to try and beat the record time. Uh, so two minutes and two seconds for 19,000 credits. Should be able to do that. Not too difficult, hopefully. All right, here we go. And off we go. Go, 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 go. Keep it smooth and steady. Oh, there's a lighthouse there. Nice. Oh, we got a little bit of air time there as well. Oh, big air. Oh, is this another one as well? Hey, 539 air points. That's decent. I'm pretty sure you could use that as like a harvesting method. Just keep going up and down that road. You, you would eventually get to like max level. Easy. Nice. Perfect. It's a very good corner there. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Go, go, go. Nice. This is looking good so far. Right, this corner, because we've already done this before, this corner caught me out. You really do have to slow down for it, otherwise you go too wide. It doesn't look tight, but it is tight. And it is big time tight. Got 12 seconds, 10 seconds. Here we go. Just managed to get the gold there. Decent. 19,000 credits, thank you very much. I will take that. Your itinerary is being recalculated. And our next race is only 0.4 miles away. Let's just go straight away. Turn right. On. Very nice. You have reached your destination. That's a cop car. No thanks, I don't want to crash into you today. Right, we've got 9,500 credits on the line for this one. It's a 1.4 mile, three lap race. Let's do this. It's our time to shine. And off we go. Start. Okay, bit of contact through there. Look at these houses though. They're so nice. Like the buildings in this game have just been made to look amazing. You don't really see that in Forza, not gonna lie. I mean, Forza still looks very plasticky. All their cars look like plastic toy cars. Where's it? Where's the road? That road looked really dodgy. 
Okay, we should be alright for uh, that corner next time, though. Now that we know. Fact is, we're also going to get bonus points. Thank you for overtaking me. Oh, that was close. We could have uh, completely ruined our race there. Go, 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 go. Nice. Yes. Nice. Okay, so this corner is here. Oh, yeah, that is still quite tight, though. We are going to have to look out for that again. Nice. This is the final lap. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get the win. Get this corner. Nailed it. That was the best we've taken that corner. And across the line. Music's having a little bit of a nightmare today, apparently. Uh, 9,500 credits, we're at 120,000, and we've gotten ourselves about 47,000 master points today so far. Right, so we are here at the Nissan dealership. In the last episode, we made a big mistake for picking the Mercedes, so we're going to pick the Skyline. This was our original choice, and we sort of like, was like, um, which one do we want to go for? Ended up going for the... Uh, Mercedes and it was a very bad choice. So we're taking the Skyline and I feel like you have to take the Skyline in the blue uh, We're gonna buy that and we're gonna make our way straight over to the Nismo Nissan upgrade dealership thing um, And upgrade our car um, Where about we got some club invites, which is nice um, whereabouts would the Nissan be? I think it's up here, if I remember. Yes. We're going to target you. Have we been to any location nearby? Oh. The location here. We'll go here. And we'll drive down. We'll do the entire road trip towards the dealership. Um. On camera. Just so we can enjoy the car. Because I think as well, once we get there, there's a load of races around it. Um, Your itinerary is being yeah, recalculated. there is a load of races around the location. So uh, That is two cop cars. Oh my gosh, this car feels so much quicker. Why did I not pick this? Why did I not pick this initially? What went through my mind to buy a Mercedes? I have never... That might have been why, actually. I have never driven a Mercedes, like, properly in... ...games before. I don't really drive them. This is nice to drive, though. It's very good. Very good. <laughs> right, so we are now two miles away from the Japanese... Uh, upgrade station thing. This is going to be really cool to uh, upgrade this car. We can see how much uh, extra performance we can squeeze out of it. But this is a cool thing. You sort of go and you have to drive and find these places. Um, the cool thing as well, though, that I prefer about this game towards the other test drives is you had to, like, you didn't have a clue where they were. Here, you know where they are. Like, in real life, you would know where the locations are. You just can't fast travel to them. Just like that. I mean, in real life, you can't fast travel anyways. But, like... Your destination is one mile away. 
Why are you going to force us to do that? It's just weird. But this game, this game nails everything perfectly. Your destination is a half a mile away. And the fact is, for them to have made this game 14 years ago and it's still playable today is a decent job. But here we go, we are at the Japan Auto Parts. Nice. That's really good. Oh, look at that. Fancy. And there's our car in the middle. Right, so... Oh, yes. That's amazing. So we can upgrade without it going up into another class. So you can see here, the first upgrade gives us about 160, 164, and then 170. Of course, you know me. we got to go for the top power pack. Um, and obviously, the upgrades are free anyways, so it's not going to cost me anything. So we will still stay at 69,000 credits. <laughs> oh dear. That's a uh, very perfect number. Right, so where is the first... Um... That's an E-Class graduation event. E-Class D. There's a D-Class there. And a D-Class there. We'll do this one. Because um, we're already there. Or we've already been there on our journey and unlocked it. So it uh, saves us a little bit of time. Here we go. 1 minute 22 for a 2.3 mile event. 22,000 credits available. Let's do this. I have a feeling the skyline is going to do me proud. Or it better do, otherwise it's uh, getting bin. <laughs> I'm not afraid to bin the cars. Off we go. Alright, we're going round here first of all. Based on the fact, well, not the fact that I crashed, but based on the fact that there are, like, road signs, I'm guessing this is, like, a no traffic thing. Because it kind of wouldn't make sense for them to have, like, road barricades if there's traffic. But yes, by the looks of it, there's no traffic. This thing's quick. It's gone up to 160 much faster than the Mercedes ever did. And we managed to get around that corner very well. Normally, uh, junctions like that uh, in this game, where you're going like 120 miles an hour, are really sketchy to try and slow down on. But uh, we managed it just about. Look how much further ahead we are. We're 20 seconds ahead and already at the second to the last checkpoint. Uh, the final one's got quite a bit of distance. Still not a problem for us. Club invite. North Shore Automobile Enthusiasts. Oh, interesting. So we got an invite for um, another club as well. Your itinerary is being recalculated. I'm guessing that was for 150,000 uh, points then. Um, next race is just over there. That's a decent location to be going to. For the next one. There is also a Aston Martin Our event as well. Um, alongside some of the other ones. One so yeah. Oh, and it's raining again outside. It's been raining and non-stop for literally like... Right. Every time I've been recording for the past two days. Like heavy rain. One mile away. One mile away. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, sorry. <laughs> I think I just jump scared someone. Oh, no, 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 no. Your destination is a half a mile away. Come on. I mean, I could cut the corner, but I think that just uh, takes away from the fun experience of driving on tarmac. <laughs> that was close. He definitely did not look in his mirrors before he started turning, though. 
Pearl City. Here we go. Let's do this race then. Uh, so this is a D-Class again. 2.2 miles for two laps. 14,000 credits available. Let's go. It's our time to shine. Right, let's do this. One and go. Okay. Oh, wow. That was unbelievable from the AI. It pushed me over into the... Oh, to be fair, I've done it myself before. This is my revenge now. This is my curse. If anyone knows that song or what game it's from, uh, specifically racing game, it's in a Guitar Hero game as well. But uh, if you know what racing game that is, you're an OG. <laughs> It was easy to get back into first place. A little spin at the first corner is not going to do me too much damage. Especially with this beast of a skyline, apparently. This thing is crazy quick. There we go. Nice. Ah, slow down. Come on. Perfect. The music in this game as well was alright. It really is. The fact is, right, I um, have been playing, like, run because my first, like, proper console that I played a lot um, was the PSP. And then I got myself an Xbox 360 in, like, 2011 or 2012. I think it might have been 2011, 2010. 2010. I think it was 2010. But I had a PSP in 2008. And I played Gran Turismo PSP, which I've been making a few videos on lately. I've got quite a few planned, which is pretty cool, uh, because I'm using a PSP emulator called PPSSPP. It's available on Android and PC, so make sure to check that out, because it is actually quite fun. Um, but also, I used to play this a lot. But I never noticed the soundtrack in the game. Because that wasn't the thing I focused on. I mainly because I didn't really play with much sound. Um, but now I'm sort of like an... I'm a music enthusiast. So any good audio in a game, I'll be straight up on that shit. Like, oh my gosh, this music's great. This music's great. Kind of thing. You hear me talking about good music all the time. Crazy. There we go, finish first. Everyone was in the Skyline R34. I did not notice that. I noticed there was like two or three Skylines, but I didn't realize they were all Skylines. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Oops. Big oops. We're at Halawa Heights now. The fact that every single like street name was named is, is insane. Every single street, it has... I don't know, again, if these are real streets, this is the problem, whether these are real or fake. I am, I, I need to at some point jump onto uh, Google Maps and just go to Hawaii and see, but I think I might have to load up like Google Maps from 2006. Yeah, I probably would have to load up like 2006 Google Maps. Ah, oh, keep it calm and steady. Your oh, and we've gone. <laughs> we went way past. That's awesome, though. Right, 2.6 miles. Uh, one minute 49 of four. 23,000 credits. We're gonna get straight into the race. I'm going to drink my Lucas Aid. Get myself that energy. And we're going to go. Come on. 
come on. I have high hopes for this car. No, no, no. Don't be singing that, you'll get copyrighted. My video will get claimed as a cover for saying those lyrics. Come on, that could count as a drift. Or understeer, one or the other. Is understeer a drift? We'll never know. I don't know where we're going. Okay. You see so many roads on the minimap, and like these are pretty crowded spaghetti junctions. There's like four or five places where there are spaghetti junctions like this. There is one place that's like probably worse than Spaghetti Junction. Like there's one place where there's so many roads and overpasses and everything. It's insane. I think this might be the place. Actually. Yeah, this could be the place. Because there's roads everywhere. How would you genuinely like go through this place though. Like, imagine living here and having to drive through this. That's insane. I mean, it gives me a good racing track. I'm not going to lie. I quite like it. Coming up to the finish though. Hello, our heights. Ta-da. Bing. Gold medal. 141.3. And the music's having a funny moment again. 23,000 credits. We're at 166,000 master points as well. That's really good. Your itinerary is being right, where is our next race? 1.7 miles away. Alright. This is the cool thing. It just puts you on course to different races. I can't remember if at like the end game situation it would do it. Like if after you finish the game it would just send you to races that your car was capable of but uh, it definitely it's definitely good I will say that right now Turn left. Your destination is one mile away. I haven't like played this game in so long and to come back to it is amazing it really is Oh no, the Ninos are on to me. That was way too quick to come for me though. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, you're not supposed to add more to it. Right, here we go. The Seeker. This is the next race. Right, so we got a race against the clock. Uh, this is a E class. Okay. Guessing we're gonna have to uh, get our Alfa Romeo back out. This is uh, 21,000 for a 4.8 mile race. Let's do this. I think I may have picked the wrong race. Off we go. Ah, uh, it's been a while since we've driven this. I haven't driven this today, actually. Actually, I lie. We drove it to the uh, Mercedes-Benz dealership in the last episode. At the next intersection, turn Pearl right. Harbor. Turn right. Take a corner cut there. No one saw that. Right, this is the problem now. We need to keep an eye on the mini map, but also the roads, because there are so many of these junctions. Turn around. Some child definitely had a fun time drawing that road, though. They were just like done some scribbles, and they're like, "Yeah, this is going to be called a new junction." Oh, 
utterly pointless, by the way. Like, there is no need for that. Just, just like Bregan writes to say, oh, look, we can have cars going 50 feet in the air. A little bit of airtime as well. Ah, uh, keep it on the road. Awesome. I am the drum and bass father. Got it like Gaza. Oh. There we go. Kept it on the road. Could have taken that corner quicker, but no. Taking it off the road. Okay. We're going to have to regain that time. But uh, I have a feeling because we have quite a powerful E-Class car, that should have sort of gotten rid of our safety zone. I was expecting going round that and going on the dirt a little bit to not throw me in the air. But then I should also know that off-roading in this game is very typical to uh, fling you into the air. So, uh, it's kind of my fault. To be fair though, that is checkpoint number 13. Number 14, as long as it's no more than a half a mile. Uh, okay, could be a push. Got 20 seconds. 10 seconds. Yeah, we got this. Easy. There we go. Achieved a gold medal. 2 minutes 44.78. That's decent. We're now going to be driving the uh, Alpha though in free roam. 6.6 miles. Yeah, no, I'm not driving that distance right now. Right, so we are heading to another sort of uh, championship series. And we're going to be driving the Alpha again, E-Class car. Um, because we have got to finish this. Oh, 400 airtime points. Nice. Um, so we got to finish this. Uh, this is the, I think it's called the graduation class or something. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but these are... It's going to be another championship. And then... Uh, we should be able to afford an Aston Martin. Uh, so we can then take part in the Aston Martin championship. Which is also another good car for C-Class, I think. It must be C-Class. From what I remember. Uh, yeah, it's called Grad Class. Um, I've gone past it. There we go. Grad Class 1. This shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, so it's a 2.2 mile uh, two lap race for the first one. Let's go straight to it. 9,500 credits. I'm going to enjoy swimming in the money. Awesome. And off we go. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Oh no, there's been contact. Oh, there's been contact everywhere. Unbelievable. The bad sportsmanship. There was contact between everyone. At least four cars crashed into each other. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. I think this is a one make race as well. So whatever car you take, everyone else is in. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I took the Ford Mustang for this, I don't think I'd be put against five Alfa Romeos. Look at that. I get knocked down, but I'm put back to the front position. Because of my skill. I've got skills to pay the bills. Do you remember when that saying was a trend in the UK? I've got skills to pay the bills, in it. No. No. At the next intersection. Right, here we go. Another corner. Slide round there. It's not as easy to drift in this as it is the um, Mercedes-Benz or the Nissan Skyline even. The Skyline's a little more difficult to drift uh, than the Mercedes. But uh, at least it goes round corners. Here we 
we go. On to lap numero dos. Numero two. Whatever you want to say. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Awesome. Groovy. We've got another corner. I think that was the section where um, we got knocked very far back. Or it might have been the section before. Awesome. I'm loving this. Checkpoint. Two minutes, 22.303 at the moment. The fact is, these kind of games, they sort of just die out. And you think developers put so much effort into these games, and then after a while, they're just... Nothing. Test Drive, both games have become... Well, people still wanted a new one, but the old games just became irrelevant. And it's such a shame. They put so much effort and make an amazing game like this. And it seems to just get brushed under the carpet over a few years. But uh, there we go. There's the money. Let's go straight to grad class number two. Okay, so this is a 1.9 mile per lap. Uh, and E class. Let's go. I'm pretty sure it is per lap. I'm still not 100% convinced though. Because it might not. Oh well. Awesome. Can I get past? No. Oh. Triple contact. Oh. Crash into him again. Why do you slow down when you're being crashed into the back of? Wouldn't it make sense to use your opponent's speed to your advantage? If he's obviously crashing into the back of you, use him. That's what I do in Gran Turismo. That's why you always see me swerving over and trying to get in front of the car so they'll knock me. Trick the AI into bumping me up to position. Now that is how it's done. Perfect. I think that's the start line just around there. Yeah, it is. The thing that does impress me the most about this game is the elevation change. The fact that there is, like, a realism to this map. Forza, Forza Horizon 1, which came out six Crap. Which came out six years after this, in 2012, was the flattest map I have ever played. The only sort of form of elevation was the junction to get on a motorway. Or highway, whatever it's called in America. Horizon 4. Right, Horizon 3 was even flatter. It was flat as hell. There was no elevation change whatsoever, right? You then go to uh, Horizon 4, they added loads of elevation change. But it was still like the roads themselves were just flat. The only map that I think is decent in the entire Horizon range is Fortune Island. That's the only map I genuinely had a lot of fun playing on. That's saying something, because that's a DLC map. Here we go, though. Coming to the finish line. Taking the win. Gold trophy. Grand Class 3 has been unlocked. Got ourselves 8,000 credits. We'll go to the next event. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or 
click on the merch link in the description it would mean the world to me and also don't forget to check in the description for our other social links we've got twitter instagram and discord so make sure to follow us over on there but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye